guys okay so today I wanted to talk about the difference between weight management and managing your body composition I feel like a lot of people often don't understand and sometimes when somebody comes to me and they say they want to lose weight I often ask them well what kind of weight and they look at me and they don't understand that in our bodies we can have four basic different types of weight right we have your fat mass your lean mass your bone mass and your water weight okay so let's talk about each one of them your fat mass is what we call our body fat now we all need body fat for survival but some people may have um, some excess body fat and that's what they're trying to get rid of oftentimes when they're trying to lose weight another thing that we have is lean mass lean mass talks about lean tissue and that includes everything from your organs to your actual muscles oftentimes the goal of a person can also be to increase their lean mass or their muscle mass right the skeletal muscle so if that's one of your goals we're gonna go ahead and talk about that too now your bone mass um, doesn't really change there's only two periods of time outside of when you're being created in the womb that somebody can increase their bone mass and that is one through puberty and the second time is when a woman is pregnant so that's the reason why we really want to protect our bones and make sure that we don't lose any bone mass because once it's gone it's gone forever so you definitely don't want to lose that kind of weight the third one is your water weight okay and this fluctuates a lot a lot anything can really offset a lot of things to offset it such uh, for example uh, let me give you um, your the type of carbohydrates that you intake can alter your water weight as well as sodium um, overhydration dehydration also um, has a lot to do with this this is why a lot of the times people that go on a low carbohydrate or ketogenic diet often lose a substantial amount of weight in the first week like seven to ten pounds the reason for this is remember that our bodies are about 60 percent uh, of made out of water so your water weight comes into play a lot when you see that number on the scale so we're going to talk about how that fluctuates and to make sure that you guys truly understand the human body and specifically your body and you can tell how that's having an effect on your goal on your fitness goal or in your nutrition goal now body composition um, really only talks about the difference between your fat mass and your lean mass in regards to your skeletal muscle right so oftentimes if you see like bodybuilders and people that are in, in physique competitions they often look into altering their body composition they often look into lowering their body fat and increasing their muscle mass so for the purposes of this channel a lot of these videos are going to be geared towards not really weight loss or weight maintenance or weight gain but rather managing that body composition, either losing muscle mass, I'm sorry, losing body fat and gaining muscle mass. You don't want to lose a lot of muscle mass because it's very hard to, to actually um, obtain. So with that said, we're going to go ahead in the next set of videos, I'm going to go into detail into everything that I just spoke about, how to lose body fat, how to gain muscle mass. Okay. And if your goal is both we can totally make that happen you just got to understand what happens when um, you put your body in a different kind of state to either lose fat mass or gain muscle mass thank you guys for joining me please do comment below if you have any specific questions go ahead and let me know email me uh, let me know because this is your channel I'm just here to answer all of the questions based on truth and science have a wonderful day guys we'll see you soon